Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with an LA thrift haul. <laughs> Yes, you guys remember when we took that trip to LA a little while back and we were going to thrift it? We thrifted it. We did. We bought a convertible. I mean, we rented a convertible. Whoa, it was so we fun. We bought a convertible? No, Jeez. we rented it. It was so fun. And let me give you the hot tips. Hot all, tips. All up front. First of all, this is going to be a brand palooza. So you're yes. going to want to get out your little notebook if you're new to clothing. If you're not new to our channel, you'll know a lot of these brands because we are looking for old faithful. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Oh, what's the thing? We mailed all this stuff home because we <laughs> took Spirit Airlines, <laughs> which is fine. Yep. And uh, so this is what you do. You get all the thrift stuff, put it in the trunk of your rental car. Then yep. you go to the UPS store. Okay. Okay. And then you ask them for a box. Um, you know kind of look at the stuff that you have and you mm -hmm. ask them for a box okay we got a 16 by 16 by 16. right okay yes then you put all your stuff in the box okay i'm following it's better if you bring your own tape or if you stop at a dollar tree to get tape because the tape at the ups store is expensive that's I'm giving, right this is all it okay so yeah, you, you pay gotta, you buy the box right it was like a dollar 25 or something yeah. okay yeah. you buy the box you shove all your junk in the box <laughs> tape it up so you need tape okay to make it a box yes okay then, then are you use ready? your phone. Okay, are you ready? So you put the box on the scale at the UPS store. You <laughs> see how much it weighs. Yep. Then you use your phone and you go to pirateship.com. Yes. On your phone. Yes. You buy the label through UPS on your phone. Mm -hmm. And through then your pirate ship account. Through right? your pirate ship account. You pay for it on PayPal or whatever you do. Yep. And then you go print PDF and you look at the UPS person and you say, I hey. need to print this label. How much to print? A label here oh they're like 75 cents it was less than that it was whatever the copy machine was yeah she was like just email it and they have an email you email <laughs> your label they print it out for you and then you use your tape and put the label onto the box boom it cost us 16 dollars to send a huge box of clothes home was it 16 it was 16 dollars wow. well plus the tape it was more like 20 because we had to buy tape we didn't think that through right oh but that's the hack don't buy your label at the shipping counter because oh, that would have been like god it would have been like crazy expensive dollars or something <laughs> okay that's that's a bit inflated okay. but anyway we're, we're never gonna look back because we did sometimes we do southwest we pay a little more for our ticket and then we each have two check bags we're lugging ikea bags to the airport we didn't have to lug anything it was kind of nice it was real nice yes. for 16 bucks okay yeah. anyway here we go we're gonna okay. show you great brands and comps with this okay i, I have Some zero of the things were a little bit hard to comp I and have, I'll, yeah well not zero recollection of what we got but mostly zero okay okay i think you must have gotten this for I sure did. <laughs> how did you know <laughs> okay i'm gonna also give you a bunch of keywords so okay. we all need to get better at keywords keywords this brand get on in there get with it in there bolo brand right here be on the lookout for this brand spell and the gypsy Sometimes it says collective, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Okay. This is nice. There's another gypsy brand out there from TJ Maxx called Gypsy Rose or something like that. No, 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 no. Spell and the Gypsy. This is the money brand. Right here. All right. This how, is. How much, how much money? Okay. I think we're going to list this. I don't know. It's missing a belt. Dang. But it's a cardigan. Who needs a belt with a cardigan? Right. I did find the style name for this by just typing in the following keywords. Okay. I put chunky open cardigan spell in the gypsy um i put, maybe put cable knit anyway i found the, the style name and the stock photo for it Sweet. and someone had one listed for 150 on ebay nice there's had the belt All i right. think we're gonna go in at probably 129.95 or something on this Love it. okay did we pay that Ooh, okay so this was from saving let me let me back up back it up hold on you know, i gotta sit down <laughs> So we went to three thrift stores. We did not go to any bins while we were there because we have a bad habit at the bins of staying for eight hours. And overbuying. And overbuying. Yeah. We went to the Goodwill, the St. Vincent de Paul, and the Out of the Closet. The Out of the Closet that we went to, we have that in Dallas too, great thrift store, was in Long Beach. Long Beach, man. Was not the LA one. Nope. The LA was this, was St. Vincent de Paul, which yep. we stayed too long at. And then right across the street from St. V's 
is the Goodwill. Yes, and, and the apparently outlet's there it's too. The bins with yeah. the bins attached, but we only went to the regular Goodwill side. We had blinders. We're like, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do this. Okay, so the, yeah, this was from St. V's and said it was... It says four, it was twelve ninety nine. Fourteen. Fourteen ninety nine. Yep. I probably did pay that. Okay. I think the what... We should have written it down. Dang it. <laughs> where, where are you going to put this stuff? Um, well, you're sitting, so... I know, I had to sit. I can put it here if you move your coffee over. Oh, coffee. Yep. Mm-hmm. There you go, and just kind of... That works. Oh, this is not... not. Hold on, let me untuck my shirt. <laughs> sitting in high-waisted jeans is never never a good look, y'all. Oh, look at this. You got a St. John two-piece. Mm-hmm. This was on sale, I remember. So green was, I think, 25 or 50% off. Okay, yeah, this was marked thirty four ninety nine. It's going to be fine because set. we have the receipts, and so what we're going to do is add up all the three receipts... And divide it by the number of goods that we got and get an average cost of goods. So yep. it's all good. It's fine. We very much enjoy mm-hmm. getting St. John two-piece sets. I almost didn't get this set. This is a Santana knit. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is what St. John is known for. This is a Santana slub knit. And I would love if Dan got closer to show <clears throat> the slubbies. Slubbies. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Where are them slubbies? See how it kind of, those are slubs. Yeah. Where it's like a little bit bumpy. That's a slub knit. You can see it easier up here on the top, I think, kind of. There it goes. Okay. <clears throat> this is a periwinkle color or okay. corn flower blue, some would call it. The, the top is not the same size as the bottom. And normally I would not get it if it's not the same size. However, one was a 12 and one was a 14. Okay. That's not wildly different. And with the stretch of Santana knit... I think we're going to be okay here. We have sold pieces before, two-piece sets where the sizes were different. And I think this will sell because That's the nice. larger St. John pieces yeah. that we get normally do pretty well. And this is a silk-lined collar with a floral pattern on it. Very nice. Very nice. this was nice. And it was 25% off. And, of course, when we take pictures, we'll use a mannequin or a dress form. Thirty-four ninety-nine. I think it was 50% off. 50? Mm-hmm. I think green was 50. Could have been. I don't think, you know, you know us, guys. <laughs> we don't spend $35 on we, much. We look at $35 price tag and you're like, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what are, you, what are you doing? But we have experience selling St. John. I'm not sure I would have gotten it otherwise. Okay, this is Mark twelve ninety nine. This was a dollar. Tag. This was one. One dollar, Bob. Blue for was one dollar. Eileen Fisher. Look at that. That's our friend. We know her. We love Eileen. This and linen. Yep, this is sure. a linen. This is some keywords I would use. This is like a shirt dress, smock style. It has these um, pockets in the front here that have never been opened, so that's good. It's got some really nice buttons all the way down. You could wear this with leggings. Um, I think it would be pretty short to wear as a dress. So I might say tunic dress. That's okay. kind of how I get around that. This is a natural fiber. I will use the term lag and look and minimalist. This is an older Eileen Fisher tag. That square Eileen Fisher is older. Now they're like skinny rectangles. Okay. Um, yeah. It's it's cool. It is cool. It looks kind of German. A little bit, yeah. Don't you think? Like yeah. an Oscar piece kind of would look like that. For sure, yeah. All so right. we Do you remember what the comp you found was? I forgot to even ask about the St. John. But we'll put it. We'll I think the comp, the, well, the comp and what I'm going to list things for are not vastly different, but they are different. Sure. I think the St. John I'm listing for about 150 and I okay. think the Eileen Fisher, 59.95, which is what I list all Eileen Fisher at if it doesn't have. <laughs> Your standard, standard price. Yeah. All right. Oh, nice. Denim and supply from Ralph Lauren. Check that. We love this brand this line from Ralph Lauren it has been discontinued yeah this is like a linen linen double-breasted blazer actually. yeah the comp I found was not great it was a best offer of $39.99 or something eh. but the pictures weren't great on that one we have another denim supply you guys are yeah, looking for the star make, make like a little outfit ah! <laughs> we do pick this up a lot uh if it's more patriotic it tends to do better for us but yeah. i think with dan's uh photography skills in this sort of oh, arena i got skills it's got skills blue can, tag so a dollar i think it was a dollar yes. mm, 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 mm. people in la are shopping for different things than we are apparently because on the dollar day in a couple of the stories we went to we were like okay. oh 
One dollar? I'll take that, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. thank you very yeah, yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Perfect. Um, what'd you say? Like 35 bucks or something? Yeah, I think we can get 35 out of that. But for a dollar... Yeah, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's blue. Maybe blue wasn't a dollar. I don't think Dang blue it. was a dollar. I don't know. It was half price or something. I did not pay full price for this. There's no way you paid full price It for was this. discounted, all right? It was 50%. We're going to go with 50% and then green was... I don't know. We're going with 50 off on blue. It doesn't matter, y'all. We're going to give you the average <laughs> cost of goods at the end of this video. Jo we got to pause the video to do it because we haven't done it, but we will. Man, okay. We're going to do it. Ding, 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 ding. All right. This is... This is from Baby Fat. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Here's the pants. Y'all, this is a velour tracksuit similar to Juicy Couture, but this is Baby Fat, and it is brand new with tags, crispy, it's, clean, and white. It's blingy. It also. is blingy. It's got these gold hardwares on it. Yes. And, yeah, man. Did you see how it works? It does. It totally works. <laughs> I need, like, a face shield. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think I paid a lot for this, but it's a 3X, which... It is a 3X. I have been looking for plus size. Um, all the Juicy Couture's I ever find are, like, size extra small, so I've been trying to get some more size inclusivity in these track suits because we love selling them. Hello. Can I tell you? <laughs> Can I tell you? Baby fit. Okay. Anyway, the comps are great on this. There was one that was pre-owned that sold for 100 and ours is new with tags. What did it say I paid and I did half of that? Oh, wait, what is it? $39.99. So I paid 20 bucks, but I think we can get 200 for it. That's what I'm gonna list it for. Yes. It's so cool. Nice. It is pretty good. Yeah, it is really cool and it is in remarkably Mint. well, remarkable shape. Mint. 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 I've Mint. always wanted to put that in a listing title. <laughs> Now's my time. <laughs> <coughs> More Eileen Fisher. I got so much. So this, the next few pieces you're going to see came from a thrift store called Out of the Closet. I want to talk about this thrift store really quickly because you may have one near you. Okay, yeah. Uh, this it was is, marked six bucks. It is a chain of thrift. And this is a boxy. I'm going to list every single one of these at fifty nine ninety five. Nice. Uh, this is a mustard stripe boxy knit with the front pocket. This okay. is a linen blend. And it's gonna be great. Okay, stop. Out of the closet, th the thrift stores. If you're into doing things that have a bigger purpose, like with Goodwill, it's a for profit and that kind of thing, and sometimes Salvation Army too. Out of the profit, I mean, out of the closet <laughs> <laughs> is a nonprofit. And what's really great about their stores is they have free HIV testing and STD testing for anybody that wants to go in there. They also serve a huge population of the LGBTQ plus IA uh, populations in getting the word out and advocacy and issues like that. It's a fantastic organization if those are things that you prioritize in your life. Yes. So the more you can support them and resell stuff, it's like a win-win-win for, yeah. for me. And they have really good stuff really good stuff and the dude was like the nicest guy ever we have an out of the closet <coughs> in dallas we haven't been in a while their stuff wasn't as good maybe it's better now we haven't been yeah we haven't been so you should go check while. it out and see if you have one near you just google it we've also been to the one in miami and really good they're all over southern california more eileen fisher six bucks yes this is a slub knit as well maybe maybe six bucks this color is called chartreuse yes it is and see there's the slovies right there let me show you the difference between chartreuse and mustard oh because people get a, this confused we're getting a color lesson see that yeah you see so oh, when this it, is kind of like it leans ugh. green yeah it looks a little bit like baby puke a little bit people love it i love it put chartreuse in your title anytime you have something that's this color kind of like grinch green it's a little grinchy and it's like, <laughs> it's nasty. This is a nasty color, but it's great to wear. Like yeah. you're so many skin tones can wear this color. It pops. I love chartreuse. Yeah, you do. But you know what I mean when I say it's a nasty color, it's like most bodily functions are that color. <laughs> so, but people love it. So put chartreuse, spell it correctly. And <laughs> don't mistake it for mustard because until it's you see something same. that's mustard, similar. this leans more green, this leans more gold gold yeah <laughs> <laughs> one okay. more eileen fisher 
Okay, this is absolutely Eileen Fisher. It doesn't have the uh, yes. the label tag, but does it have the fabric it does. tag? It does. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get real comfy. Yeah. I'm and getting comfy in here. We've we've sold enough. Oh. Eileen Fisher. Yeah, there you go. And we know <laughs> we know for sure by the fabric tag that that's Eileen Fisher. Yeah. <clears throat> And this is another slub knit. This is a dolman sleeve. It has a drop and then it goes kind of narrow so that this, you can push this up and you get this really nice drape at the top of the arm, which some ladies really like. Okay. It's a long length and it has a split here. So you could call this a tunic if you wanted to. Like this would probably cover your bum if you wanted to wear it with leggings. It is a little bit sheer, which some people also like for summer weather when you still want to wear some coverage. Okay. And that is a linen blend as well. Linen and cotton. So again, your standard price of what? $59.95. $59. Excellent. That's a good one. Oh, this is a good I one. I paid up for this at out of the closet. Yeah, you did. But I, I you, think I did a good job. 25 possibly. But it's yeah. an All Saints leather moto jacket. Yeah. That's so cool. Every All Saints. Size four. Seriously, every All Saints leather jacket we've ever gotten has sold immediately. No, oh, you're good. Okay, I was hiding. This is a certain style that some lady wore. You'll see it in the comp. Uh, there was one sold, but it had a flaw. So I gave you the the lowest of the currently listed. Okay. They go up to like three fifty. Nice. I think, yeah, I think or I'm gonna list this around two twenty five. Okay. It's a cute little cropped moto style jacket, and it has been seen on some celebrities. All Saints gives you the make and model <laughs> inside the tag. Does it? So, yeah, and the tag down here. Cool. So that makes it easy, even with dresses and stuff. This is the All Saints Turn Biker. There you go. Leather jacket. Love it. <clears throat> That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and if you can squeeze, what'd you say, over 200 out of this? I thought you were going to say if you could squeeze yourself into this. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought that was what you were going to say. Oh man, I know this is way too big. Yes, I'm gonna squeeze two hundred <laughs> out of that. Yes, that tiny jacket is way too big. <laughs> Y'all look at my shirt. I got this off Poshmark and I've never loved a shirt more. It says Neverland, but it looks like the Nevermind shirt from Nirvana. Uh, oh my god, all my favorite things wrapped into one and it's a child size and it fits me and I just couldn't be happier. Right? I'm gonna wear the shirt every day, get used to it. Get used to it, people. All right. For somebody gave all of their John Varvado stuff. Um not the Star USA, the mainline John Marvado stuff, to this thrift shop. And I snagged a couple of pieces that I thought would be worth it. So this is what the mainline label looks like. Right there, it just says John Marvado. It's usually made in Italy. So this is That's a nice. 52 Italian size, uh, 42 US. It's really cool. It's a really uh, current style of... It's got a little... I think yeah, that's maybe all right. Yep, the it's his current style of sport coat. It's got the button like the lapels look like a normal jacket, but it's got buttons that run all the way up. We saw someone on, on Monday Night Football wearing this. Yeah, this is a really cool current piece. So, so when you're typing in, like I did the comps for this video, and I typed in John Barbados unstructured yeah. blazer. Yeah. That's what this is. When it's all like floppy, flippity, flippity. <laughs> that's unstructured. Yeah. Uh, it does have patch pockets on it, which make it have a more casual vibe. Yeah, see right there? I would also call this a chambray. Okay. It's a black chambray, not a blue chambray. Yeah, it's really soft. Uh, it's really soft. It looks like a chambray shirt. So this is like a shirt jacket, like not a shacket, but you would wear it maybe over a polo shirt, something real something cleaner it's right now. It's trendy to go like, yeah, you wear this out, out somewhere. Come on. Come on. There it goes. See? <laughs> baby wipes, y'all. Baby wipes, all you need to clean things clothing-wise, you know, spot clean, baby wipes, and peroxide and Q-tip. That's it. Those are all you need. And we're good. You can get all of them at the dollar twenty-five tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. What else did I get? This is... Another chambray. Six bucks. This is another... It's a John Varvatos shirt. Size medium. I may or may not want to try this on myself. Yeah, okay. Who knows? Did you want to tell Casual me the difference between the John Varvatos lines? 
and the well the only two that i know of are this one which is the main high the high-end designer line top of the line and the john Ravedo star usa stuff which is the diffusion line i guess and it's the proper term pretty a lot less yes pretty a lot less <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this was, I think this is the first time I found one of these in any, on thrifting anywhere, but it's a Faraday shirt. Oh, I found some overalls that time, remember? Yes. This is a great brand, yeah. if you can find it. Just another casual button down. I would call this blue check. I wouldn't yep. call it gingham. That's nope. not, not what I would call this. It feels really nice. It's a large, yeah. I think you would notice the tag on it. It looks a little bit like Farm Rio, which is another great brand to look for. Yeah, and they're doing a bunch of advertising right now. Yeah, and they have a lot of co collaborations too. So I think this one, I hope we can eke out like 40 bucks for it. Nice. Which is great for a button down, like, and it will sell really quickly. The sell through is great. Yeah, 40, 40 bucks is worth the effort it takes to list a button down shirt and yeah. make it look nice. Yeah, if you've been with us for a while, you know, we kind of like <laughs> backed off from button downs for a yeah, while. Yeah, we were like, no, we're not going to do that anymore. I couldn't handle it. The mm -mm. steaming and the pressing. I had to get out the iron. No, and the, girl. And the folding and the, oh, The God. iron, though? Like, <laughs> <laughs> clutch my pearls. As soon as I had to get out the iron, I was like, we ain't do it as no mo. No mo. All right, looks like we're on a Goodwill stuff. I think it's all kind of, you know. It's all kind of mixed in there. Yeah. This was a dollar. This was the green dollars. Ah. This, at the Goodwill, the green tags were a dollar. There I it got is. two shirts off the dollar rack. Okay, something was green for a dollar <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> this is the Eileen Fisher Petite Medium. I think we've sold this top. exact tank top like a million times. This tank top is worth between $25 and $30 all day long. It's 100% linen. Some of them are organic linen, some of them aren't. And we've sold this in every size, shape, and color yep. that you can imagine. Yep. We are well versed in this style well well versed <laughs> okay come on now the goodwill i i felt like i was shopping at a buffalo exchange uh or like some kind of buy sell trade store it was so good but dan said the men's side wasn't that good no not so good this has some stains Hello. on it but it was a dollar so loud, i'm gonna try to wash it some loud yellow going on i here. know st john sport there you go there's a couple spots I'm going to try to get out. Okay. And I'm also going to try to, like, sporty this up. Like, sporty like it up. yellow and black. What's that? The Steelers? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to put all this in the themes, you know, to try to get this sold. Rayon and spandex. Okay. What if some like, posh lady needs to be tailgating? Yeah, right? Anyway, for a Take dollar. Take your St. John to the tailgate. It's so weird. In L.A., <laughs> St. John and Eileen Fisher were on the dollar rack. Yeah. And, like, that would have never happened here. No. We don't need a claw for it. Come on. <laughs> All right. How'd I do with this hoodie? Eh. Eh? Just eh? It's probably worth 30. I didn't find any full zip thermals, to be honest. Okay. This is a skate skateboard, right? Skate company? Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, I don't know. It just, and it was lined. You it was know, lined it probably... and it, it looked kind of interesting, so I looked it up in the store, and I probably, oh, man, you know, had nice. that phenomenon where I found a better comp in the store than we were able to find here every time <laughs> but Does we could probably you, you know upsell this with some of the features a lot of people like the lined full zip hoodies and i didn't see anything full zip in this brand yeah seven bucks maybe we'll try to get 40 or 50 out of it okay. Let's, we'll try Come on. do you guys believe in us i think we can do it yeah i do too with your description marketing skills i didn't know what you're about to say Got you on the edge, huh? Uh huh. Don't know what I'm gonna say. What is these? Our girl Diane. Oh yeah, this is a Diane von Fustenberg. We love selling this brand. I, don't I could think we've find... ever sold pants from her. These are before. joggers, man. Nice. I kind of want to try these out. They're silk joggers. Um, there's Diane von Fustenberg. Also, if you want to show them the tag inside, has the name of the style in it. In it. <laughs> So that's helpful. You see, like Jeanette or something. Janetta, yes. It says it right inside of it. Get your face. No, it's still not doing it. Oh, it's getting my shirt. Oh, I just got it to curl up into a ball. <laughs> uh, 
the uh, hologram. I, you know, off. it's over there on my desk. Yeah. I got to glue it back on. There's a hologram tag. I think uh, these pants that we got, they're very hard to comp besides these, the ones you're going to see. I think they were in a movie or a TV show because they have all the codes written on them in Sharpie, which is what oh, I do. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Where you go? Yeah, so some of type. these, and people, will, I see them online being a lot being like, are these samples? No, they've been used in a movie for sure. And a lot of times, if something's used in a movie, depending mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. yeah, Sorry, depending on if, you know, what the rules are of the production company, you have to take the tags out of them as well. Uh, okay. Ugh, it's, it's so heartbreaking when this happens. <laughs> but the stuff we found had tags, except for one thing, which I think was also used in a movie. Yeah. Save that one for the last. Yeah, you did. <laughs> we got a good one at the end of this. So stick around. It's worth it. These were the other... These look nice. These were very hard to comp. I couldn't find anything like it, but Man. I want you to know the brand. And I also think these were used in a TV show. So these are some olive green pants with some... Is that leather? Real there leather? is lamb leather. Dang, that's nice. It's very nice. These pants... <laughs> so the comp I'm showing you is not what I'm going to list these at. I'm okay, going to go much higher. Called ALC. Great 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 oh. brand oh. i don't know we're it's amateur hour right over here it's going it's yeah gone. it's like silver on silver and it's just like barely tacked in there too what's going on here what the, you see that i know it's from the sensor oh, i hate sensors i might be able to steam it out though oh, okay there's like a little hole where the sensor tag was yeah i don't know what's going on there okay so we're gonna try these pants. They're really cool. They're utilitarian style. They've got lamb leather on yeah, they've them. They've got some kind of inventory mm -hmm. number or code written on the exactly tag. right. Yep. So when you do your bids at the in your costume slates, you have to put the number with the pieces. And anyway, they have some zip ankles. Cool. So that's a really great feature. These are a riding style. If you can show them the back of them, yeah. They kind of look like jod purse. They have that circle. Can you point out the? I can't reach you. There you go. <laughs> anyway, that circle style and the reinforced knees, these are a trouser. They're, you know, you'd wear them with like high heels. They're not meant for riding, but they're that style. Got it. And they're an army green. They're cool. They they're really, cool. really they feel cool nice, pants. for sure. I don't know what we're going to do with them. I could not find any kind of comps. Nothing. Hmm. They, a little bit of an issue. Like, it looks like some compression or something something did it i don't know <laughs> okay yeah those are 6.99 i don't know what we're gonna do with those what is this friend this feels very soft and nice mm -hmm. 8.99 mew mew nice uh, this is super no nice if you guys don't really know this nice. brand there you go it's made in Italy. Uh, I couldn't find the exact sweater, but this is a Y2K style with these big bubble sleeves. Um, this is a sweater dress. It feels like a mixture of, it feels like silk. I don't even know if it's a mixture. Oh, there we go. Now I'm holding it right. Yeah. There we go. It's really, this is Y2K to the max. Like Paris Hilton probably wore this dress. There's no fabric tags inside of it. I can see why, because it was sheer and somebody yeah. probably was like, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, but it's definitely a silk blend. It feels... Feels like cashmere. Yeah, I know it yeah. does, right? So I'm gonna do some more research on this once we take photos of it. It'll be easier for me to Google lens it. Okay. Once we have a photo that's on a mannequin. That's nice. It's really nice. <laughs> really, really nice. Okay. What are you, friend? Oh, you bought this. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be good. I think it's worth about thirty. Oh, is this a scarf or? Yeah, a it's a something? travel scarf. You always be looking in the scarves. Dan know. loves the scarves. What is this from? I, I keep don't... looking for a Laura Piana. I hope no. I get lucky. Zest Organics. Uh. It's, it's called a travel scarf, and there's some new tags that have sold for 39 so. Eh. They can't all be super good. No. We'll see. It felt nice. It does feel nice. That's for sure. We do a lot of our thrifting, especially if you're new here. We do a lot of our thrifting by feel. If so we're in a hurry. Yeah. And we were in a hurry. Okay. <laughs> All right, pair of jeans. What are these? Trip NYC. Yeah, I'm not sure about the value on these. The brand is great, and I want to show you the brand. But these are just pull-on pants. Because they're so plain, you mean? Yeah. yeah. The stuff that's more goth and has, like, stuff hanging off it and chains and straps. And <laughs> that stuff does way better if it's plaid. Yeah. Uh, I still think we could probably sell these for about 30 Okay. Love selling this brand. Six ninety nine. Yeah. 
Cool. Right, we're getting down, down to the bottom of the box here. More olive green. Yeah. Eileen Fisher. Yes. yes. The pull on pants. These are the washable like. stretch crepe wide leg pull on pants. We know. Yes. Because we've sold a million pairs of them. Six ninety nine size large. It doesn't as long as the elastic isn't crunchy. The tag really doesn't matter. Not crunchy. Uh, we list these at fifty nine ninety five. I don't care what the comp say. You're gonna see a comp here for less. I don't care. It's not my comp. <laughs> these pants are worth between forty and fifty dollars all, all day, day long. long. Yep. <laughs> All day long. So sometimes the comp only tell like part of the story. I look at comps to look at sell through rate, whether people are buying it or not, but not necessarily for the price, especially if you're an expert in a certain area, yeah. go with your gut. True. All right, we got two pieces left. We saved the best for last. Okay. We really did. I found this. Great brand. Yes, look at this awesome shirt. It's an extra small. You want to keep it? <laughs> it's way too big. Uh, it's from a brand called Zirena. There you go. And this, like I said, this just, it looked nice to me. It's got like metallic threads running through it. I don't know if you can see. It's a little bit sparkly on the, I don't know. We have sold this brand before. It always flips very quickly. I don't think we've ever sold a button down shirt. Most of their stuff looks a little more lagging looky, a mm -hmm. little more art to wear. Yep. Has embroidery. Uh, it looks a little bit like Johnny was. Okay, and the tag yeah. looks a little bit jolly. I mean, it's an embroidered tag in a similar fashion. I love this brand. We do find it in Dallas. Most of these, the brands that we are finding, like Spelling the Gypsy, we've never found in Dallas. No. Faraday, we don't find in Dallas. Not really. Um, nope. In Zarina, we have. So maybe you can find it where you are. I think you would look it up. I think people watching our channel would look it up. Yeah, I think There's so a too. a piece. I thought it was hanging here that was similar to Zarina. Anyway. It's a good little, brand. Like I said, yeah, there's little clues. That it's quality. The buttons are really nice, Mother of Pearl buttons. Mm -hmm. So, the okay. last piece. You ready? I was feeling around with my little paws. Seriously, I told Dan he, we should do a video of me shopping in the Goodwill one day. Because this is me. I just go through so quickly. And when I feel something of quality. You just, you just stop. I stop. You, feel that. you really do. I stopped when I felt this. Man. It has no tags on it. And I know why it doesn't have tags on it. I'm about to tell you why it didn't have tags on it. Look at this. It's heavy and super nice and wow. So I put it in the cart. I didn't even look it up or anything. I put it in the cart. It's got these nice little buttons up here. And in the then shoulders. when we were about to check out, I started going through the cart. And yeah. I started looking for anything because here's the thing. What's the thing? Tell us the thing. Knitting something like this is difficult. It has many different knit patterns in it. It has a peplum hem on it. Yeah, I want to get in nice and close so you yeah. can see the, the delineation. This Look at thing that. is incredible. Like, I couldn't believe it. I knew it was high end. So I started searching for any, not on my phone. It's on the buttons. I found it on the buttons. Of course you did. Come on. Can you tap the screen right there in the middle? See if it does it. Nope. Yeah. It's too close. Yeah, come back a little bit. Can you see it now? Uh, I can kind of see it. Kind of, kind of. It's very difficult because it's so shiny. It's Chanel. Get out of here. It's Chanel. I can't freaking believe it. So I paid, what was the price on yeah, this? Yeah, I can, I can see it, but it's, it like, was there's so many facets on these buttons, it's really But you can see to, the C. Yeah. And I know it, because I wear Chanel makeup. I know it. Yep. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh my God, it's worth a $5.99 risk. So I brought it was home. Was it $5.99? It was $5.99. Wow. Brought it home, and Google lensed it today. I, it's been sitting in our, <laughs> I Google lensed it. Oh yeah, look at the end of the sleeves too. Look at that. It is 100% Chanel. It's from their 2016 ready to wear line. So it's not the top end of, it's not like couture Chanel or runway Chanel. There's different lines. Their ready to wear line would be sold at like Barney's or uh, what is another one? Ne not Neiman's. What's another like Saks? Yeah, Bergdorf. Bergdorf. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. So that's where their ready to, to wear line would be. And this was from 2016. There was nice. one sold on first dibs for 400 something. Yes. Uh, there's only another one 
that's listed on another website that I had never seen. I don't know whether it's resale or whatever. Mm -hmm. I believe that this probably retail for about five ninety five, and nice. I think we should be without the. We don't have the tags on it, okay? But looking at the piece, you know it's Chanel. It's got the branded buttons. It yep. it has a couple of little flaws, a little snag. So I'm gonna go at it with the snag nab it. Uh oh. Okay. And try to repair a little bit of the flaws. I think easy. We should be able to get at least three fifty for this. Very but nice. Easy. Nice. Because That'll... it is so nice of a piece. Like, yeah. And that peplum hem is just so interesting in a knit. Because normally you get that in a jersey, right? Like a t-shirt you mm -hmm. have with a peplum that's like so cheap. But in a sweater <laughs> of this caliber, it is very heavy. This sweater, there's no way if you really concentrate on fabric and fibers, you would yeah. not notice the sweater as you're flipping through. Yeah. I mean, it, it weighs over a pound and a half. And it's tiny. So we're gonna measure it and then try to figure out the size. Now, this is why I believe it was in a TV show or a movie because every single tag has been removed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if you're donating things, like Chanel doesn't want their stuff ending up at the Goodwill. They don't, <laughs> right? So when they make partnerships with production companies, that's in the rider. And it'll say like, no, dispose of all things without any branding or whatever. Mm -hmm. And okay. I was finding other stuff with handwritten notes in it and stuff like that. And so maybe these other brands wasn't in the rider, but maybe Chanel probably, I, I can imagine. see that happening, sure. right? Yeah. Whoa, that's a Chanel sweater. I like walked with Dan, I'm like, I think I found Chanel. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, because She's we like don't find whispering. that. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like you're robbing the thrift store? I'm like, oh, they priced it. I'm yeah. going to pay what they want. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay your six bucks. I think we don't find that kind of stuff in Dallas. It was super exciting. Yeah, for sure. So if you ever get the opportunity, I know life is different for everybody, but if you get the opportunity to travel and thrift, uh, we do it a lot. Yeah. LA was one of the better stops that we've done, but LA is expensive to stay and to travel and rent a car and all of that. It's expensive. Yes, it really, really is. But will these goods, and we didn't go there to thrift, okay? We were there on a trip and we were thrifting in between stops. <laughs> So we shouldn't have been thrifting, but we were. You know what I'm saying? Can't help it. We were oh, like, we're not going to thrift. Uh, we were thrifting. Which is why we didn't bring any carry-on luggage. Okay. Yes. So sometimes we bring IKEA bags in our luggage so that we can check them. Because no matter what, we say we're not going to thrift, and then we thrift. <laughs> Guilty. And that's what happened. So this is why it was like a smaller haul. Yep. If we had gone for a thrift trip, which we're kind of maybe going to do, because mm. the flights are cheap. We get all these, like, Dallas to LA for $69, and we're like... Yeah okay right um, and if we don't have to stay in like downtown yeah or close to downtown you can stay out or wherever it gets a little cheaper so but you do have to weigh all that into your basically into your cost of goods yeah and um to make it worth your while but like i said we were there for another reason or our haul would have been 10 times the size yeah. like when we go to thrift we go to thrift so when we go to denver we came back with 200 pounds of clothes that's another great place if you can travel to thrift that's cheap to get to and cheap to stay is Denver. And they have three bins yep. in Denver proper. And they're all quality. All of them. Yeah. We found good stuff in all three. But not like Chanel. No. I'm sure you could. But we found a lot of outdoor brands and Eileen Fisher and Free People and stuff like that. So yep. I think other people have mentioned other cities too. I like Denver because there's three bins. I like LA because there's thrift stores on every corner. It is the thrifting capital of the United States. And we had never thrifted there. Yeah. So I think we'll be back. Yes, I think so. Let us know what you think of our haul in the comments Please below. Do. We will be at you probably tomorrow with a shipping video. Hopefully if eBay wakes up. Yeah, wake up. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.